Putin demands unfriendly countries pay for Russian gas in rubles. No doubt you've heard uh, this being touted on the media and you're probably wondering, what does it mean? Maybe you've also heard uh, that Russia sets fixed gold price uh, to the ruble, that the gold price is actually now connected to the ruble. And a lot of people are asking, does this mean that we are moving back to a gold standard? So I want to explore this a little bit with you and a little bit more uh, in this uh, Awaken Freedom chat. First of all, yes, Putin has uh, said to unfriendly countries like um, the EU, Britain and America that you need to pay in rubles. Now, I've heard some commentators say, oh, it's because they're, they're uh, weaponizing uh, the energy, that, that Putin is weaponizing energy against the West because of their sanction. I think that is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. And look, maybe they are. They're smart people here, the Russians. Everyone, all the geopolitics leaders, uh, geopolitical leaders are very smart people. But have a look at why he's done this. So half of the Russian central bank's reserves, $300 billion, were frozen by the EU and the West, by America, the EU and Britain. Half of, the, half of their reserves were frozen because those reserves were in euros and dollars from the sale of mostly gas, okay, gas and oil. They sell them in the EU, in the US. They get paid because if you didn't know, you have to pay in uh, one of these major currencies. Most it's US dollar is the reserve currency uh, that you have to pay in. But it looked like they were taking payments in euros as well, uh, but not in rubles. So all of those uh, foreign reserves were sitting over there. They're Russia's money. But the EU, the West, has seized that money. They've blocked that money. So Putin and, the, and Russia can't access their own money. So what Putin's saying, it's like, we sold you this gas and you've, you've blocked the money that you paid us. So effectively, you've stolen the gas because we can't get the money. So why would we keep selling you gas in a currency that you can just block? You've already blocked it. It's just, it's madness. We're not, and he even said in one of his speeches, look, we're not engaged in charity. You're not giving us anything charity. In fact, you've stolen our money. And if you have a look yesterday, uh, Germany has seized um, uh, Gazprom, which is Russia's uh, major energy producer, seized one of their factories, one of their um, uh, gas hold storage facilities in Germany. They've actually stolen uh, the Russian company's um, uh, assets, which is another story we're going to dive into another day. But Putin's saying, you've stolen our money. You've blocked our money. We can't access it. Why would we keep selling you gas in a currency that you've just frozen anyway? It just doesn't make any sense. You're going to have to pay for it in rubles. Oh, you can't pay in rubles, blah, 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 rubles, 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 right? So what, uh, so in my opinion, what Putin has said is very feasible. If you went and stole all of my money, I said, well, you can't pay me in your money anymore because you just stole it anyway. You're going to have to pay in my money because at least I can use my money, right? Makes sense. Now, here's the, the interesting thing that's happened next is, and this is on Kitco. I'll put all these links in the description. Russia sets fixed gold price, right? It's starting to, to, to buy uh, gold bullion again, but it's fixed the ruble to a gram of gold, 5,000 rubles to one gram of gold. Now, if you haven't been following it, the Russian ruble absolutely crashed, lost 50% of its value, but it has rebounded. It is almost back to where it was before the special military operation in Ukraine, before all the sanctions. 50%, boom, and then it's slowly, slowly coming back. There was a massive panic. A lot of people were... Uh, trying to move their rubles into gold. A lot of people were trying to sell out. Here in Russia, it was quite interesting uh, to see what was going on. But it's rebounded quite significantly. And I believe the, the ruble will get stronger again um, and pot pot potentially surpass uh, where it was because the Western economy is going to suffer from these sanctions a lot more than Russia is. And I believe that the Western politicians are doing that because they want to crash the dollar. So what, what Putin's gone and done is he has fixed the ruble now the ruble price to a gram of gold. Isn't that very interesting? Haven't we seen this before? Well, yes, we have, right? The gold standard. We once upon a time had a gold standard where a dollar was equivalent to a value of gold. I don't remember exactly what it was. It was before my time, but we had a gold standard. Then they took us off the gold standard. I believe one of these articles here, over here, I think goes into it. Let's have a look. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
where did I have it? Here we go. Um, so setting a fixed price to goal reminds some analysis, an analysis down to here of what the US did during the gold standard years. The period between 1879 and 1914 is known as the classic gold standard era, during which one ounce of gold would represent 21 US dollars. Then in the 1930s, Great Depression, the US banned gold ownership and raised the value of the dollar in gold from 2067 to 35 per ounce. That price remained fixed until 71 when Richard Nixon put a halt on the US dollar's convertibility into gold, which meant that other countries could no longer redeem dollars for gold. In 1973, the gold standard was scrapped. Since then, we have had what's known as a fiat currency. It's not real. It's not pegged to anything. What just happened in uh, COVID, we saw massive printing of money. You can't print money when you have a gold standard. You can't print money when it's pegged to the dollar because it's gold, it's physical, it's something real. That's why they took, this was in the Vietnam War, they took the gold standard off and just started printing money, printing money, printing money, which is why we have the massive inflation that we have today. And we, I would say in the West, especially pretty much the whole world, uh, it's gonna, inflation is gonna go through the roof. Some anal analysts are saying that we will have hyperinflation, which is like you know 10,000% in a day. I don't know if that's gonna happen, we will see. Um, but so I'm reminded of what the US did in the middle of the Great Depression. For the next 40 years, gold price was pegged to the US dollar. Um, this is a pre there is a precedent for this. It leads me to believe that Russia's intention would be for the value of the ruble to be linked directly to the value of gold. Is this the start of a new gold standard? It's definitely the start of, and I love uh, these commentators here have said it, gold backed ruble is the new paradigm shift for global economy. The global economy is going to collapse. The uh, cabal would like to and are working towards collapsing the US-backed global economy. The US dollar is the global reserve currency after the Second World War. They want to collapse that entire uh, currency system and they want to bring in a central bank digital currency, digital currency, okay? A central bank digital currency that they completely control with a social credit system like they have in China uh, where if you say something, you do something that the government doesn't like, that's linked to the financial system. So all of your assets can be frozen. Your bank accounts can be closed. You can't access any of your funds if you say something on Twitter that they don't like, for example, right? Uh, another story for another day. But what's happening there is they want to collapse the global financial crisis. And I'm not talking just Sarah and Nassara, right? A lot of people have been talking about that for many, many years. The central banks controlled by the cabal, by the Satanists, they want to collapse the system, the financial system, and bring in a centrally controlled central bank digital currency based on the blockchain, where they it's completely transparent. They can track every move that you make, and they can shut you down in a heartbeat if you say something that they don't like. But Russia has just gone and pegged, or in the process of pegging, the ruble to gold. Does that mean we're going back to a non-inflationary system, a non-fiat currency system, an actual gold standard system? Russia is working with, uh, Russia has a, a system here called Mir, which means world or peace, the same word in Russian, Mir means world and it means peace, very interesting, if you look at language, and uh, union pay from China, that's the Visa MasterCard equivalents for Russia and China. They are now working in partnership and have been for a month now to build out a new system because Russia has been kicked out of the SWIFT system. So they're actually working now on building out, and India seems to be in partnership as well. India is buying up gold, uh, buying up Russia's oil uh, for pennies on the dollar, uh, which is amazing. Uh, but right now they're building out a new financial system. So as the, the Western US-backed financial system crumbles, of which Russia is pretty much being kicked out of now and has already said, no, we're not taking your dollars anymore for our resources, which you need, um, I think 45% of... Uh, where was it here? No, that's the Bitcoin one. Uh, it was something crazy like 45% of the the uh, imports. God, there's just so many things to go through. Do, 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 do. No, it's not on that one. Anyway, effectively, the US right now is stopping all um, all gas imports. Uh, imports. Here we go. Uh, natural gas price surge in Europe, where Russia supplied 45% of gas in Europe. Um, and uh, here it goes. Um, Biden, President Biden earlier this month banned Russian energy imports to the US with a 45 day window to wind down existing contracts. So the US is stopping to import 
from one of the largest gas producers, energy producers in the world, uh, of which 45% in Europe supplied, right? Um, but so far, Russia has continued to meet its contractual obligations to Western gas and oil consumers. This is not coming from Russia. Russia is business as usual. We're sending, we've got these contracts, we're sending it. Biden is saying we're done in 45 days. Europe is winding down as well. They want to crash the dollar. They want to crash the economy. It's going to get very difficult in Western countries very, very fast. Okay, so guys, be ready. And he is not to blame. Maybe he is. Maybe he's sitting at the same little small table that they all are, right? Maybe he's part of the whole little gang uh, that is bent on, on controlling us all. But on purely a geopolitical level, what is happening right now, these sanctions against Russia, Russia is doing what it said it would, it would do in Ukraine. It's, it's laid it out exactly, demilitarization, denazification is doing exactly what it's laid out that it needs to do to protect its sovereignty. It is all its, contra its uh, contracts, even though half of its uh, assets were frozen by the West, it is still delivering on its contracts. It has not reneged on its contracts. 800 companies, multinational companies left Russia, 800. We no longer have McDonald's here. We no longer have Ikea. Um, the two big ones, Nike, uh, there's 800 of them, I don't know, them, but the big ones that actually that I see on the streets uh, are gone. 800 multinational companies left Russia. Russia even said, Putin said, we're thinking about seizing their assets and continuing business for our people. And then they come back and said, look, we're not going to do that. Unlike the West has done to us, we're not going to seize private assets. Germany's just gone and seized private assets from Russia. So Russia is on the receiving and they're getting smashed by sanctions. They're getting smashed by, and maybe say, oh, it's because they're invading Ukraine. Did US get sanctioned when they invaded the, the Middle East? Weapons of mass destruction. Bullshit. There is no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. What happened to Afghanistan, Syria, Libya, Yemen? Millions and millions of people died under US occupation, under US bombs. Never a single sanction against the US. You're being lied to. We're all being lied to. But is this a great move in the right direction? I would love to hear in the comments what you think. Uh, Putin demands unfriendly countries pay for Russian gas and rubles. I'm saying he has to because otherwise the euro and dollars are going to be free, frozen again and he will not be able to access it. He's not running a charity. Um, they are now setting the gold price to rubles. This will strengthen the ruble even more. Is it the beginning of a new financial system? I believe that it is the beginning of a new financial system. And I'm very keen to see what China and Russia does with their Mir and Union Pay um, collaboration. And then the last thing is friendly countries, friendly countries like India and China and Turkey and all the other ones will be more flexible with payment options, even to the point of suggesting that they could accept Bitcoin as payment. Now, they haven't started accepting Bitcoin, but they may accept Bitcoin as payment as well. Is Russia leading the future? Let's find out. I'd love to hear in the comments what you think. Scotty Z signing out. I'll see you very soon. Cheers.